how to use the Wheelify app on your Shopify store. Hey everyone and welcome, I hope you're all doing great. In this video, I will walk you step by step on how to use the Wheelify app on your Shopify store. So basically, it's an application that we can use with Shopify, either for free or we can even upgrade to gain more. Uh, but it's pretty much a spin to win uh, sort of app, which is going to provide your customers with, you know, this spin wheel where they can earn some discounts and so much more. So uh, setting things up with it is actually very easy. So let's just go ahead and get to it and show you exactly what you need to do. First thing is that we just need to open up our Shopify admin. And then from here, we just want to go to our online store, go to themes. And then, uh, sorry, we don't really need to go to themes. Um, uh, my bad. We just need to go ahead and open up our Shopify app store. So just click on add apps. If you don't see that, just click on apps. And then just go ahead and uh, go to uh, all recommended apps here and just click on Shopify app store. Once this loads in, we are pretty much in the store here. We just wanted to search for we leafy. Um, I can't even spell today. So we leafy like so, uh, which is going to show up uh, for us, uh, which is called we leafy spin wheel email pop up. Uh, so if you just go and click on this one. Uh, you are going to pretty much see everything about it. So you can actually see the pricing free plan available. And also you have more plans uh, that are going to be available. And, uh, you know, some key points of what Wheelify is going to be used for. Uh, most likely than not, it's going to be spin a sale discount pop up. So you're just going to go ahead and win a discount code. You can also do the subscriptions with spin to win uh, and we also do the ex exit intent spin a sale. So pretty much whenever somebody uh, reaches for the X button from the top of their screen, it's just going to pop up for them and give them a sale boost uh, and so on. So those are going to be the main elements that it's actually going to provide us. And if we just scroll down, you're also going to be able to see the pricing points for them. So uh, by default, you're going to have the free version and you can try things out first. Uh, and you're going to have up to three, 300 wheel impressions for free. And then most of the other elements here. And if you upgrade to light or plus, the only thing that you'll be getting is an increase with the wheel impressions. And we can just go and click on install once we're ready. And we just want to set things up. So just going to click on install. And this shouldn't really take too long here. Uh, and we just need to confirm the installation one more time. And then we can just start the setup process for Realify. Okay, so things are going to start off with the setup uh, looking something like this. So you are going to select the language pretty much. Uh, I'm just going to go for English, click on save, and then we can just go ahead and close this. If you want to read it, feel free to do so. I'm going to skip a lot of things because I'm already going to show you exactly how to do things step by step. But if you want to read them, feel free to do so. So for this, it's just going to show you how much it's actually going to cost you with uh, the impressions per month. We already saw that, but just, you know, to be sure you can feel free to filter and see how much it's actually going to be. So uh, we're just going to keep it as 300 and go for the zero price and click on let's go. And in here, you can also feel free to now feel free to actually actually you'll need to read this and agree to it and click on agree and continue. Okay, so starting off, we will need to set up the actual wheel and make sure that it is going to show up and you can uh, first you will find yourself in the main dashboard for the app and then here is actually going to show us the steps needed. Uh, but we can't really do much in here uh, other than, you know, seeing the statistics and also uh, more analytics in here. But uh, if you want to set up uh, the actual wheel, you just want to go and click on online store, go to themes. And then from themes, once this loads in, you just want to click on customize the theme that you're currently using. So I'm just going to click on customize on the Dawn theme, which is the theme we're currently running. And if we just click on app embeds here at the left uh, dashboard, you should be able to see app embeds. And then if you just go in and click on that, one of the options, if you have multiple different apps, then it's also going to show up here. But if uh, you only have Wheelify, you, you'll be able to find it right away. If you don't, you can just feel free to search uh, at the top here, Wheelify, and you will be able to see this right here. So just make sure you turn this on. 
and uh from here you just go and uh, just go ahead and click on save from the top right and this ensures that the app is uh currently running and when we actually apply the wheel it's going to pretty much be you know showing for other people and they will be able to see it so this is going to be the first step of our setup okay so next up after we have enabled the app from the app embeds we just need to create a campaign from the app itself so just go and uh, locate to the app from the apps section click on apps click on wheel wheelify spin wheel email pop and then once this opens up you're going to have a small little dashboard here right underneath it which includes campaigns a b testing integration subscribers and also the payment plan here so i'm just going to click on campaigns here this is where we need to go and in here we can actually go ahead and click on create campaign from the top right okay so once you actually click on create campaign uh, from the main page for campaigns you're going to fill in a few in, you know a, f a bunch of information here that is going to be required for you and you'll be able to set it up accordingly so we're going to start with the campaign title which i'm just going to go for test camp and then we can also add a campaign description which is going to just you know give a general idea of the campaign so um, we can just again type in test uh, or example and then we can also go ahead and uh, move on to the next thing so how long to show it uh, i'm just going to go ahead and do a fixed schedule uh, and you can also do manual but i'm just going to go for fixed schedule and i'm just going to start uh, by adding the date and uh, the start date and also the end date and start time and end time actually it would be a lot easier if i just keep it to manual so i'm just going to keep it as manual but if you want it to actually be a fixed date you also have the option to do so as you can see here or you can just pick a date from here if you would like to so i'm just going to keep it manual and i'm just going to go ahead and click on next but i just realized that the title for for some reason and description uh were deleted so i'm just going to refill them and just click on next from the top right this is going to take us to the themes uh, section and this is pretty much you know the design aspect of our wheel now the first thing when it comes to design you're going to select uh, either full screen which is going to look something like this or we just select a pop-up which is going to be a mini version of the spin wheel which is going to be a pop-up if you know what that is uh, and then we can also just go ahead and select a theme for it so i'm just going to go for um this one right here and we can yeah you can just go ahead and use that uh, and i'm actually going to keep it as a pop-up instead of um, a full screen so i'm just going to select this one and go with it if you want to f find more themes you can also just click on the arrows here it's just going to show you more stuff uh, that you can you can actually go ahead and go for so uh, in here you can actually go ahead and customize this even further so you're going to have all different types and uh, these so we have one two three four five uh, these are going to be the uh, elements within the actual wheel so in here you are going to pretty much add the different coupons or losses uh, that uh, people will have so here for example we have a 10 percent off which is going to be a win here as you can see and you can actually see the win text which is 10 percent off the coupon itself so you're going to add the coupon in here and we also have the gravity which is going to be like the percentage of it actually falling on this specific selection and then you can also feel free to change the color of this specific slice so for example if you want a very unique slice you can just go in and color it with a completely different color if you would like to and here you also have more customization options when it comes to customize look and feel so you can even change the animations here so whether it's rotate shake and so on as you can see it from the bottom right here of your screen um i'm just going to keep it as rotate yeah i'm just going to leave it as rotate actually i'm just going to keep it static at this point so feel free to customize this and once you're happy with it you can just go and click on next which is going to bring us to the layout section within the layout section you will find this and uh, this is pretty much a preview and whatever is in the preview you can actually feel free to edit in here so from the, within the actual spin wheel form so you can feel free to actually change the text for all of them 
And if you want to collect phone numbers or even international phones, you can feel free to just turn them on. But I'm just going to keep them as they are. And again, this is going to be the winning form. So when somebody actually wins something, this is going to be the text that is shown to them. So you can feel free to customize all of this and click on next once you're ready. This is a conversion booster. So this is going to uh, tell them, you know, your coupon code is reserved for a limited time. You can apply it at checkout just, you know, to ensure that people are going to actually take um, the coupon and try to spend it as soon as possible. It's more like, you know, trying to push the sale to happen, but you can feel free to customize the text again. You can feel free to do so. Uh, but again, I'm just going to keep it as it is. And I'm going to go ahead and click on next. And by the way, you can actually select whether it's going to be the top or bottom. I prefer to keep it at the top here. So I'm just going to click on next. And then we're, this is going to take us to the display options. And in here, we can also uh, also see the preview for it. And again, adjust the different display settings. So for example, display delay time. So when it's actually going to appear. Uh, and also we can adjust the padding from bottom. Uh, and also change the trigger button, whether it's going to be to the left, bottom, bottom left, bottom right, or even to the right. Um, I'm just going to leave it as it is here. And I'm just going to go ahead and go up and click on next. And in here, it's actually going to take us to the final step, which is limiting the spin wheel. So this is going to allow us to limit uh, wheel spins uh, by emails or browser cookies or even IP addresses if you want to. So it, by default, all of them are actually going to be turned off. But if you want to turn them on, you can just go ahead and click on turn on and select the number. So for example, um, it's one per email uh, and also one per uh, browser cookie. And again, you can just set up the one uh, or you know multiple for the same IP address. And you can just go and click on finished once you're done. And you pretty much just created your campaign and you should be uh, good to go. You just need to activate the campaign from down here. You can actually see it right over here and you can just click on active campaign, activate campaign, and you're pretty much good to go. So this is pretty much all there is to it. Now, whenever somebody visits your website uh, or store, I should say, uh, the wheel is actually going to be appearing for them and they will be able to access it. And if they win something, they win. If not, well, yeah. So hopefully you found this video to be informative and thanks for watching.